dad was growing certified wheat. And if the farmer was growing certified seed, he'd actually have neighbors come and walk the fields and pull the, the weeds out. This is where uh, we are sowing the grain, and that was uh, with the, the seed drill. And it was all, what I put in was certified oats. Okay, that's, I guess, when it was starting to grow. I guess it's just getting into seed. So then it has to mature. It has to fill out, get more, you know, the substance into the seed. It turned out to be a beautiful crop. And there, there was no chemicals in that. Wow. Yeah. And I guess that's uh, me on the binder and our young son on the cracker. And, uh, well, no chemical. You could see thistles growing in there. The tractor is a little big for the binder, but it, it worked very well. Because, well, every farmer would give his, his tractor or whatever he had to uh, work, you know, to get it done. A it's blade. cutting it. It's cutting it. It's like a mower. It cuts it. It goes up a belt. It goes up a belt. There's a, it's called a tucker board here. To operate that machine, it, if you could operate that machine, you could fly a helicopter. It is, if you've got so many things going, you've got to work your foot pedal to... Uh, there's, it's throwing the sheaves there. That's called a carriage. There's a tucker board. Like, as it cut, it comes up a belt. And this tucker board is moving all the time at this cut end, making sure it's all straight and everything. And you have to keep working it so it's... A uniform. It, usually eight sheets. It makes a nice uh, stoop. But there was guys that were good. They didn't bend down. They had a pitchfork and they were stooping with a pitchfork. Neighbors would come and help with what they called stooping. As the binder was cutting the sheaves, they would stook it, and it was like I said, labor intensified. And uh, the, the binder would drop it eight sheaves at a time. They had to be stood up so that they would drive furthermore and they would also weather because a lot of times this uh, thrashing machine would go from farm to farm to farm. They were just setting up the thrashing machine and it, it, it uh, took a little bit of a nap. You had to be right on on the line because it was belt driven. Do they have so, to pull it tight? Yep. And then they would put a block of, of wood to keep the tractor from rolling ahead. And this was in October already. It was quite cold. So this tractor would just sit here? What did it was stationary. Do? What did the tractor do? It drove the thrashing machine, the belt turned, and then it uh, it was fastened out here somewhere, and it would uh, it powered it. Very dangerous, a lot of open belts. Uh, there's a conveyor taking the sheep in. Uh, and when the crew got tired, they would throw a pitchfork in there. And, well, they would screw it up, every, whatever's in the traction machine, you know, whatever would break. So they'd have to fix it and they'd get a break. So, how many people are up there right now? Well, there's too many on the rack, first of all, because everybody wanted to play in the sandbox. And that's the straw pile, and you can see the sheaves and the, the scoops in the back. Uh, but there is, uh, and, uh, it was bagged. It was coming out of the thrashing machine. There's a scale on top of the thrashing machine that uh, I think 60 pounds to a bushel. And it, it, would, it would come out down there, and there was this guy standing with a bag, filling the bag, tying it up, throwing it to the back. That's the way they did it there, yeah. That's the way it was done as well. It separates the grain, the chaff, uh, the straw, and like I said, it's only grain or oats going into the bag. They're going to get another load uh, of cheese. And that was uh, an all day thing. And also, we had uh, a couple of tractors pulling through that too. We couldn't get any more attention than that. Crashing machines 1947, the crack was 1947. 
then once the grain was in the wagon, there was no augers. It had to be shoveled off into the granary or hauled to the elevator if it, uh, if it was within reason because it was all done with horses. And uh, the ladies would uh, form a bee to cook because they'd be cooking for 20, 25 men. Mm -hmm.